cells this week and saw a chart comparing the cell size of a cold virus, yeah, cool, to Yersinia pestis and yeast. Um, Yersinia pestis is the uh, thing that caused the Black Plague. It's a little bacterium. Um, she'd like to know how big the coronavirus uh, is in comparison to a cold virus. Yeah, sure, why not? Can you help? Sure, of course. Or better yet, um, so all right, here's the website you want to look at, uh, and this is really cool. Uh, htwins.net slash scale to slash. This is the thing called the scale of the universe. And down here, it'll give you a little slider bar. And um, here, let's look at it. You can go out and you can see things the size of nebulas and galaxies. And eventually, at the far end, you can actually get to the entire size of the universe. But it's got everything there. And you can see the relative size of all these things. And so, let's get down through all the different stars. Uh, our sun is somewhere in there. There's our planets. Little tiny stars, little tiny planets and moons. Okay, Rhode Island, great. Mount Everest, getting smaller. Redwood tree, there we go. Gigantic sauropod, dinosaur, and blue whale. Marvelous. Uh, elephant giraffe, okay, get a little bit smaller. Chicken egg, square inch, we're getting there. Okay. There we go. Okay, we're down to like a single skin cell, getting better. Little chloroplast, chromosomes. Okay, and so now we're getting into, uh, so um, Yersinia pestis would be about the same size as E. coli. Uh, so up here, and uh, this is the scale in meters. Uh, so it's uh, point, uh, five zeros, uh, <laughs> and then some number of meters uh, large. So a couple of microns. You get smaller and you can see the largest viruses and some of those bacteria killing viruses which are really cool looking and then you get down finally to this level okay and so um at about 120 nanometers you've got uh hiv and so that's roughly the diameter i think with the spikes on the outside um down here you got hepatitis b which i think is somewhere around uh 45 50 nanometers if i remember right Coronavirus slots right in between these two, so it's going to be about a hundred nanometers. So it would be, you know, about as big as this little circle that I'm drawing uh, over here. But of course, you're going to want to play through all of this because it is just fascinating. The music is nice and relaxing, and uh, yeah, it just gives you a real good sense of exactly how big different things are in biology, uh, physics, all the way up to astronomy. Pretty neat. So uh, thanks very much. Yeah, and uh, yeah, go ahead and look at this. There is a, um, a scale of the universe one that you can get to uh, by searching, but it's flash only. And I know my computer doesn't support flash anymore and yours may not either. Um, but uh, the scale of the universe two has a nice little launcher and that still seems to work for me. So there you go, have fun, play around. Uh, you're gonna see some cool stuff. Thanks very much. This is Ask Dr. Ben.